We're going to make ready to get into the word of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, those of you who are watching this telecast, those of you who are here in the congregation, praise the Lord. If you would stand with me now, as it is custom, merit to do for the reading of the word. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask that you would turn your attention to the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6, where we have taken our text for the last few Sundays. Amen. And the scripture reads, but faith, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Father, Lord God, we love you, we appreciate you. Lord God, we give you praise and we give you thanks again for this day that you have given unto us. We thank you for allowing us to see and live this last Sunday, this last day of the year of 2023. And I pray now, Lord God, that you continue to keep us. As only you can keep us. I pray that you open up our hearts, our minds, and our understanding. That we may receive your word and have it received it with gladness. That we adhere to it and do all that you have commanded of us. So that we may continually be blessed and grow up in you in all things. So that you may get the praise and the glory out of everything that we both say and do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Today we are still on the subject of faithfulness. Faithfulness. And after dealing with faithlessness, amen, which is very real and continue to grow, evermore among the people of God, I feel it necessary, amen, by the Holy Spirit to take time to talk about God's faithfulness, God's faithfulness, and once we realize how faithful God is, uh, then I'm hoping and I'm, I'm praying uh, and believing that we would want to be just as Faithful. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Again, this is the last day of the year 2023. Amen. Some folks are getting ready to declare New Year resolutions that they won't keep. Praise the Lord. Some of them will and some of them don't care one way or the other. Amen. But whatever you declare, praise the Lord, uh, you will have to be faithful to get it done. How many of you believe that? Amen. Amen. If you didn't see it through in 2023, amen, then you will have to make a radical commitment in order to get it done in 2024. Why? Because commitment and faithfulness are attributes uh, of a child of God. Lord, help us Amen. today. Amen. So let's talk about God's faithfulness. Is that all right? Amen. Which is very befitting at this point. Uh, listen to what Deuteronomy 7 and 9 says. Uh, it says, No, therefore, uh, that the Lord thou God, first of all, he is God. Isn't that right? But not only that, but he is the faithful God. Lord God, have mercy. Which keepeth covenant. In other words, he keeps his treaty. He keeps his agreement. Uh, he keeps his pledge. Uh, amen. As well as his mercy. Amen. His goodness, his kindness, uh, and his faithfulness. Uh, amen. And he does it with them uh, that love him yes. and keep his commandments yes. uh, all the way to a thousand generations. Good Lord Almighty. Mm -hmm. He keepeth his treaty. 
Yes, Amen. He keepeth him so grieving. He keepeth his place. Whatever that may be, my God, my God, and yet extends his goodness and his kindness and his faithfulness, but he does it toward them, amen, who love him and keep his commandments. Amen. Glory to God. Listen. Listen, as with all the fruit of the Spirit, uh, God himself is the model we must study uh, for examples of faithfulness uh, to encourage us to trust and to emulate him or to imitate him, amen, as we learned in Bible school this morning. Now, in other words, we are to imitate, imitate and follow him, listen that right. Amen. The faithfulness of God is a familiar phrase uh, to those who are of a religious mind. Uh huh. But its depth and scope are probably not else uh, familiar. And I believe this is why people uh, won't submit totally uh, to faithfulness. Amen. There has to be a reason. Amen. My people will not submit totally to faithfulness. Can I get a witness? Amen. God's faithfulness uh, seemed to have been a favorite subject uh, of the Apostle Paul. Uh, why? Because he writes of it in his first epistle, uh, perhaps first Thessalonians, again, in what have been his last, or uh, may have been his last. Uh, Amen. Second Timothy. Amen. But Paul uh, had proved God's faithfulness uh, in a thousand dangers and struggles. Uh, oh yeah, Paul had proved his faithfulness. Uh, amen. And he found that uh, when it was all said and done, Lord God have mercy, uh, that God had never Fail him. Has God ever failed in of you? No. Praise the Lord. Amen. God never failed him. No. Huh? No. And so then I must ask, what is our testimony? My oh, God. Oh, oh. Huh? And how often, how often have we failed God? Yes, sir. Yes. How often have we failed this church? Huh? How often have we failed uh, his people? I wish I had a praying church. Uh, amen. It's amazing me. It amazes me, my friend, uh, that when things are bad or when things go bad, uh, we want God to show up quickly uh, and to show out uh, when we have not done the same ourselves. Uh, oh, I've observed over the years. Uh, how we can get such a selfish attitude uh, when it comes to the things of God uh, and when we want God to move uh, on our behalf. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, oh, yes, when trouble creeps upon us or run upon us. Uh, amen. When disparaging things happen uh, in our lives, uncomfortable things, hurting things. Uh, amen. Glory to God. We want to get everybody involved. Uh, we want the whole world praying for us. Uh, because we want God to show up and uh, show up. to show out. We want God to prove his faithfulness uh, towards us. But I submit to you, my friend. Uh, amen. We have to be faithful over the things that are God. Uh, that we expect to receive uh, a man our riches in whatever we are doing. Can I get a witness in here? Uh, yes, yeah, not only that, my friend, uh, but other New Testament writers uh, are equally expressive uh, on the subject of faithfulness. Uh, Peter writes in 1 Peter 4 19. Uh, if I could call on him as a witness, uh, he said, Therefore, let those who suffer uh, according to the will of God uh, commit their souls to him in doing what? Uh, good uh, else to a faithful creator. Uh, oh, my God, my God. And I submit to you uh, that we are not suffering to the degree that the apostles themselves suffered. 
Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, in fact, I submit to you that we got it pretty good. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, amen. But Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Uh, we act like what we we're going through. Uh, amen. It's been the worst thing that has ever happened to anybody uh, in our lives. Uh, but the word says, uh, amen, that those who suffer according to the will of God, whatever the will of God is, uh, amen, to commit their souls to him in doing good. Uh, in other words, don't stop doing good because of what you're going through. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, but we got to continue to do good uh, else to a faithful creator. Uh, and I don't know about you, but God has been good to me. Uh, it is he who has created me. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, it is he who has kept me. Lord, God have mercy. Uh, and so when we see the word commit here, uh, amen, it is the word Greeks use or uh, uh, with you. Uh, for making a deposit uh, with a trusted friend uh, just as we would make a deposit to a bank. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, Christ committed his life to God uh, all the way to death, did he not? Uh, and we are to follow his steps. Uh, how many of you believe that? Uh, well, let me call on a witness. Uh, amen. First Peter chapter 2, uh, verses 21 through 24. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, it reads, for even here unto uh, where you call. Now listen to him. Listen to him. Uh, amen. For even here unto where we have been called. Uh, because Christ also what? Uh, suffered for us. So y'all can talk to the preacher. Uh, amen. Leaving us an example. Uh, oh yes, that's the example that I want to follow. Uh, that we should follow in his steps. Isn't that right? Uh, amen. 22 said, who did no sin. Uh, neither was God of the sin found in uh, his mouth. Oh, what an example. Uh, 23 said, who when he was reviled or hated, uh, reviled not again. Uh, when he suffered, he threatened not. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, but he committed himself uh, to him who judges righteously. Isn't that right? Uh, amen. Verse 24 says, uh, who his own self bore our sins uh, in his own body uh, on the tree. Oh, yes. Uh, that we be what? Dead to sin. Uh, should live unto righteousness uh, by whose stripes uh, we are healed. Uh, my God, my God, uh, I ask you, my friend, uh, can you hear, can you hear uh, amen, the strength of his faithfulness? Uh, can you hear the strength uh, of his commitment? Uh, and so I ask, are you truly Faithful, Lord God have mercy. Huh? Are you truly committed? Huh? Amen. Where is your strength? Yes, uh, yes, Lord God. God have mercy. Huh? Amen. Paul then responds huh, in a similar statement huh, that we find in 2 Timothy chapter 1 at verse 12. Huh? Can I stay in the book? Amen. Huh? Amen. For this reason, he says, huh, I also suffer these things. Uh -huh. uh, he said, nevertheless, I am not ashamed. Uh, uh -huh. Why? For I know who I have believed. Yes. Uh, and I'm persuaded. Uh -huh. uh, my mind is made up. Uh, I'm convinced. Uh, and you cannot change my mind. Uh, I'm persuaded uh, that he's able to keep what I have committed to him uh, until, until that day. Uh, I ask you today, what have you suffered? Uh, what have we suffered? Uh, what are we suffering? Lord God have mercy. Uh, it hurts us just to pull aside 
uh, our worldly desires and activities uh, to be in fellowship with the saints. Uh, anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. Lord God have mercy. What are we suffering? What have we suffered? Uh, for the work of the ministry. Uh, Paul also adds in 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2 verses 12 and 13. Uh, he said, if we suffer. Oh yeah, if we suffer, uh, we shall also reign with him. Isn't that right? right. Uh, amen. But listen to this. Uh, he said, if we deny him, uh, he also will deny us. Yes. Uh, uh, it causes me to wonder sometimes uh, why God doesn't show up uh, when we want him to show up. Uh, maybe perhaps because we have denied him uh, and then show up when we should have shown up. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, if we deny him, he also uh, will deny us. I didn't write this. It's my job to preach it. Uh, he also goes on to say, if we believe not uh, or become unfaithful. Uh, yeah, that's what he's saying here. Uh, yet he about his faithful. God about his faithful. Uh, whether we become unfaithful or not. Uh, oh God, he yet about his faithful. Uh, why? Because he can't. Uh, deny himself. Uh, Lord God help us. Uh, amen. In other words, what he's saying here, uh, he cannot prove uh, that he is someone else. <laughs> Can I get a witness? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, we'll talk a good game of faithfulness. Uh, but we often prove uh, that we are someone else. Uh, but God cannot deny himself uh, or prove that he is someone else. Uh, why? Because God is always uh, faithful. I wish I had a praying church in here. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, I wish I had time to work with this. Uh, amen. Because it seems obvious to me uh, that when we are not faithful, uh, we are proving ourselves uh, to be someone else. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, uh, we're faking it. Uh, mm -hmm, my God, my God. Uh, and you talk about fake it till you make it. Uh, well, if you're faking it, you ain't going to make it. Uh, can I get a witness up in here? Uh, we got to stop proving uh, that we are someone else. Uh, then what I will work is proclaim. Uh, Lord help us today here. Uh, and so when we speak of one another as faithful, uh, amen, we mean that we adhere to our word. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh -huh. That we keep faith with them uh, and that we discharge uh, the obligations uh, of our office or our position uh, and especially in the house of God. Yes. Uh, oh yes, uh, if we say that we're faithful, uh, we're going to hold fast to our word uh, and we're going to keep the faith, uh, amen, with men uh, and we're going to discharge uh, amen. The obligation and duties of our office uh, as well as our position. Uh, and when we are faithful, my friend, uh, we prove ourselves then to be trustworthy. Uh, uh, then the trustworthy people in here. Uh, oh my God, it is very much the same thing uh, when we think and speak of God's faithfulness. Uh, and so if we're going to imitate him, uh, if we're going to be like him, uh, then our word has to be just as good. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, our faithfulness and our commitment uh, have to be just as genuine uh, as it was with God and his son Christ. Uh, oh, help me today, Holy Ghost. Give me God a praise. Give me God a praise. Uh, I'm glad I got y'all watching me. I say I'm in the next land. Uh, hopefully the word will help somebody today. Listen, listen. And then usually, now the first idea uh, that comes to mind uh, when God is called faithful uh, is that he keeps his promises. Uh, isn't that right? Amen. I don't know if you believe him like you should. Uh, 
uh, amen, this of course uh, is included in the concept uh, of God's faithfulness. Uh, but in an interesting uh, that it appears only twice in the New Testament. Uh, amen, in Hebrews uh, 10, 23, Paul exhorts, uh, let us hold fast. Uh, the confession of our hope without what? Uh, wavering. Mm -hmm. We got to hold fast. Uh, whatever we have confessed, uh, we have to hold fast to it without wavering, uh, without teetering, mm -hmm. uh, without being in and out and up and down. Uh, we got to hold fast to it. Uh, for he who promised uh, is what? Uh, oh, he's faithful. Who, he who promised, uh, he is faithful. Uh, and then later he writes, uh, amen, in Hebrew chapter 11, uh, amen, verse 11, if you believe Paul wrote Hebrews, uh, amen, that Sarah judged him uh, faithful who had promised. <laughs> Lord God have mercy <laughs> uh, through faith amen <laughs> also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed uh, as an old woman and was delivered of a child uh, when she was past child age barren can I get a witness uh, all because she judged God uh, faithful who has promised uh, my God help us today. Uh, Paul taught in 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2 and verse 13. I'm almost done here. Uh, amen. Goes far beyond even this. Uh, amen. This verse tells us uh, that we can trust in him uh, all the way to the grave. Uh, why? Because he cannot uh, deny himself. Uh, oh, when we stop believing, uh, he won't deny himself. Uh -huh. uh, when we cease to be faithful, uh -huh. uh, he cannot deny himself. Uh, he will always be God. Uh, and because his word is good, uh, I want my word to be good. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, because he is faithful, uh, I want to be faithful. Uh, because he's committed. Uh, I want to be committed. Uh, I don't want nothing to stand in my way uh, of being where and doing what I should yes. be doing. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, God's very nature uh, and character constitutes, listen to this, uh, a solemn obligation that he is his own law. Uh, uh -huh, that he is bound uh, by what he is. Uh, and that he can never be even uh, in the smallest degree contradictory uh, to a less than the level of his own uh, consistent and uniform self. Uh, my God, what did you say that preacher? Uh, I simply say it's uh, a man that he's the same yesterday. Yes, he uh, oh, today and forevermore. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. God is his own law, and he's bound by what he is, and that he can never be even in the smallest degree contradictory. And so should we, my friend. We can't say one thing and yet do another. Can I get a witness in here? Oh, yes. Some folks I've heard over the years, particularly in the religious environment that I grew up in, uh, amen. When folks used to go to the morning bitch, uh, and they would have us to declare, uh, Lord God, if you free my soul uh, yes. from the gates of hell, uh -huh. uh, I'll serve you till I die. Uh, oh, it sounded good. Uh, Sister Ben, it sounded real good. Uh, my God, but they didn't mean it. Uh, my God, they didn't mean it at all. Uh, they would just say one thing uh, and then yet do another. Uh, but I'm glad there was some uh, who believed in all that. Uh, I'm glad there was those, uh, amen, who believed uh, that God has always been consistent uh, and uniformly where himself is concerned. Uh, oh, yeah, he will always be the same. Uh, I don't care how we act or don't act. Uh, I don't care what we say or don't say. Uh, he will always 
way be the same. <laughs> Good God Almighty. <laughs> and so, no, no, no wonder. Uh, James in chapter 1 and verse 17 teaches that uh, every good gift uh, mm -hmm. and every perfect gift uh, is from above. Uh, yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Uh, and they come down from the Father of lights uh, and with whom there's no variation uh, or shadow or turning. Uh, in other words, of God, uh, he must be true to the character Yes. of goodness and wisdom uh, yes. that his very name implies. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, or with that comparison, by comparison now, uh, a war goes on within us. Uh, am I right about it? Uh, oh, I know I'm right about it. Uh, amen. Contradictory, amen. Contradictory impulses uh, and thoughts floods our mind. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. We got an angel on one shoulder uh, uh -huh. telling us what we ought to do. Uh, and we got the little horn that fell on the other shoulder uh, <laughs> telling us to do something else. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, in other words, uh, it's your flesh talking to your spirit. Uh, right. And your spirit trying to talk to your flesh. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, you are saying, should I or should not? Uh, there's always something going on. Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, when you know that you should, uh, Lord have mercy. And the flesh uh, begin to war against you. Uh, and before you know it, uh, rather than doing what you ought to do, uh, you are doing something else. Uh, and rather than being where you ought to be, uh, you are someplace else. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, Lord God sent me a praying church. Uh, amen. Galatians 5 and 17. Galatians 5 and 17. Uh, it states clearly, uh, for the flesh lusts against the spirit. Uh, you don't want to do nothing the spirit says to you. Uh, and the spirit against the flesh. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, amen. Notice the capital S yes, in the spirit. Uh, because we're talking about the spirit of the Lord. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, he won't lead us astray. Uh, no, he, he speaks to us and tells us what it is yes. and should be doing. Uh, yes. Amen. But the old ugly nasty flesh because uh, it ain't well a no good thing. It ain't no good, I tell you. Uh, that's why we got to kill it. We got to destroy it. We got to multiply, uh, mortify it because if we don't, uh, we'll do exactly what it wants us to do. Uh, and it'll have nothing to do uh, with the things of God. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, for the flesh lusts against the spirit uh, and the spirit against the flesh. Uh, oh, yes, and so it causes a contradiction uh, in our lives and causes a war to be going on. Uh, and we frequently lose the battle uh, because the divine nature does not completely fill our minds. Uh, so if you're wondering why you lose, uh, if you're wondering why you can't get it done, uh, my God, my God, uh, because it's divine nature. Uh, does not completely fill our minds. Uh, anybody know what I'm talking about here? Uh, hey Amen. Sometimes we blow hot uh, and sometimes we blow cold. Uh, and then we drop below our best selves. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, hey Amen. We're not who we're supposed to be uh, because we keep blowing hot and cold. Uh, Lord God have mercy. Uh, hey amen, hey amen, hey amen. Uh, oh, we won't be where we should be. Lord, help us, help us to make 2024 uh, yes. our best year. Yes. Uh, don't let us go in talking a good game. Uh, let us go in working a good game. Uh, let us go in accomplishing. Uh, let us go in unwavering. Uh, amen. Help us to see us through. Uh, yes. Make us better. Then we were in 2023. Uh, help us to excel. Uh, help us to conquer and overcome those things uh, that have been a hindrance to us, uh, that have delayed our progress, uh, that have kept us from serving you uh, and being all 
that you have called us to be. Lord, help us in 20, 24. Help us to be more committed. Help us to be more devoted. Help us to be more faithful. Can I get a witness? In our giving, in our tithing, in our time. In our energy, my God, my God, help us, oh Lord God, where we have been slack and have not been all that you would have us to be. And so in closing, a man is not always himself. Can I get a witness? But God is always himself. Yes. Always himself. And we are quick to say, Great is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Yes. Well, then, if that's the case, we should be all that he's called what us to be. Can I get a witness in yes. here? Oh, yes. Which, uh, with God, it is as the Apostle John says in 1 John 1 and 5. He said that God is one. Yes. And in him is no darkness no, no. at all. Uh, oh. Can I get a witness? Uh, in other words, God ain't confused. Uh, God ain't one with himself. Uh, God ain't struggling with himself. Uh, he knows who he is. Uh, because he's his own Lord. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, and I don't know about you, my friend. Uh, but I'm striving to be like him. I will not relent. I will not give up. I will not stumble and stutter in 2024. But my mind is set to go higher in God. Lord, God have mercy. There's nothing in God to mar or damage his faithfulness in carrying out his word and his past acts. Can I get a witness in here? And so our calling to Christ Jesus is one of God's past acts. We learned it this morning in Bible school, did we not? Amen. This means that what God has begun in us, according to Philippians 1 and 6, he will complete. Uh, all the way to salvation. Uh, so that when we die, uh, he will have prepared for us a responsibility uh, in his family and his kingdom. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, but I start by to tell you today uh, that it's going to call for faithfulness. Uh, it calls for commitment. Uh, we have to be totally committed to the things of God. Uh, isn't that right? Uh, it's not about what we want, uh, yes. but what God wants for our lives. Yes. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Yes. Uh, and so we need to work on that. Uh, we need to get in the Word and stay in the Word. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, yes. We need to get in prayer and stay in prayer. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, we need to get in church and stay in church. Uh, we got to lay aside all of that extracurricular activity. Uh, that has to do with the world. Uh, and we got to put God first. Uh, because God is faithful. Uh, and he's calling for faithfulness uh, in this time in which we live. Uh, give the Lord a praise. Yes. Time out. Jesus. Time out for us talking a good game. You know the old adage. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> oh God, I say to you, watch me. As Paul has spoke to me. And follow me. As I follow Christ. Follow me. As I imitate him. Glory to God. You can't see God. But you will see him in me. Glory to God. You will see him in me. Praise the Lord. I'm not bending. I'm not bending. I'm not giving up. God is first. And he will continue to be first. All that I have, he already knows it belongs to him. I don't fret over that stuff. I'm willing to give him my own. 
Lord, have mercy. I want to know him. The fellowship of his suffering. Lord, God, have mercy. I want to be conformable even to your death. My God, my God. Because God requires faithfulness. The world requires it. God more so. God more so. Don't see him as just an abstract figure or name. Know that he's real. Know that he's real. Because changes are taking place. Changes are taking place. The branch is being pruned. Lord God, have mercy. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be found wanting. I'm working. I want him to say, well done, brother Moore. Because you have been faithful with a few things. I'll make you rule over me. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we love you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we give you praise and we give you thanks for your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Your faithfulness. Yes, yes, yes. The faithfulness that you have called us to as your children. Yes, Lord. Help us. We need your help. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. The world has confused yes, Lord. us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The world is distracting us. Yes, yes. The world is putting and tugging at us. Oh, God. Help us mortify the deeds of our flesh. Help us to put you first. In the name of Jesus. To be faithful, to be committed. To do that which you have called us to do. In 2024, help us to be tightly knitted together. Working as one, as a unit, having the same mind. The same mind that it was in Christ Jesus. We want that same mind to be in us. In the name of Jesus. Let us not talk, but let us live your word. Help us, Lord. If we are not saved, save us to the uttermost. Touch us, rest upon us. Let us have no rest until we cry out what must I do to be saved. Cleanse us and fill us with your spirit. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Help us to pull aside that which is secular that gets in our way of the spirit man, the saved man. In the name of Jesus. Don't let it be too late, Lord, I pray. For us, your people. Help us. Those who are sick and hurting. Give them healing and comfort. In the name of Jesus. Those who are confused, give them direction. In the name of Jesus. Restore relationships. Let your people glorify you highly. And even more so in the year to come. So that the world will know that you are not dead, but you're still alive. In the name of Jesus. For those who are watching this broadcast, you know who they are and what they need. Lord. Touch them right now. In the name of Jesus. And I want to give you praise for all the support that you have sent into this ministry. Thank you, Father God. Thank for mothers you. on the outside. Thank you, Father God. You have caused us to be sustained. Thank you, Father God. By touching the hearts of others. Oh, God, I thank you. Yes. I give you praise. Yes. Even for greater things in the year 2020. Yes. I yes. praise you right now. Yes. I know you're doing it. I know you're doing it. This is your ministry and I commend it into your hands. Yes, God. Yes, God. It's yours. Yes, Lord. These are your people, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm just doing what you have called me to do. Yes, 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 yes. And I will do it. Yes. I'm doing it. 
oh God, I want to be faithful, committed, and trustworthy in the name of Jesus. We thank you. Lord, and we give you praise. Oh, we could have made it to December the 33rd without your love, your help, your mercy. And we give you praise. Lord, and you should say the same, we will rise in the morning. Praise on our hearts. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.